emotions are really visible. Like everyone is at the top of their emotions. Uh, you can be screaming with anger or screaming with happiness. But for example, if you compare it to a tennis match where everyone would be sitting and going like this and would clap if, if one would do really good. I can't imagine that at a football match. Like, uh, yeah, like this. You're not gonna find this any, anywhere else. I always carry my camera because it's my excuse to go to the game. If there's no one around going there for the really small games, then I'll go there, bring my camera and just go photographing. Then I have something to do and still be there. I can't show fine art culture in one picture because there's so many experts in every layer of society there, there's fine art fans. It's just life for people. The weekend or the, the match is the highlight of the week. It's a family thing to go there and it doesn't matter from which background you're from, but Fine art will be the main thing in your life. That's also think why, why it is the most dramatic club and uh, the best club to follow as a photographer. Because it's so extreme in everything. Uh, that's a good comparison with, with photography and also with street photography. If you're not there, the picture is not gonna take itself. Like you have to be there. In Rotterdam, if you want to really experience a fine art game and see what makes it so special and maybe take pictures of that, yeah, you should go to at least one of the fine art bars near the stadium. There's all these really old pubs which are completely filled with everything fine art. My hands, man. It's amazing to be here, to have the opportunity to, to be up here. We're all with climbers here to, to even get here. Um, I'll never be here again, probably, so let's enjoy. <laughs> I prefer to be in the stands as just one of the supporters. If you're a journalist, then you're immediately not one of them. I'm at Feyenoord, this is my club. I am one of the supporters and I'm just taking pictures, but uh, I'm shouting just as, hard, as loud as everyone else. I'm just one of, one of the supporters and I want to take pictures from their point of view. I think as a journalist, you're mostly photographing other people and their way of life, sort of. But this is also what I do. So this was the day we won the title. 
everything was football at the moment. And it was really, it, it was perfect. Like the, the weather was perfect. Everyone was happy. It was this sort of dream-like weekend that you can never get back. Uh, and I'm really happy that I get, got to experience everything from it and also take pictures of it so I will always remember it really well because the, the, the memories will at one point come from the pictures that I took. I thought I have to bring my camera with me because this is way too special to, to not document. Immediately you're, you're the journalist and you're not the, the supporter that's with them. Uh, so uh, you have to be really uh, connected to the group. What I really like about my position at the moment at, at, uh, in the stands is that I can move around freely between almost all the areas. Because I'm taking pictures, I've met so many people that I can go with friends, I can go alone and then just meet up with people I know in the stands in, in one area or in the other area and just experience the entire stadium from different angles. It can be so many different reasons, but because I have a camera, I can experience all of them because I just have an excuse to be there. I miss all of the goals probably because then <laughs> I'm focusing on getting a picture uh, or it'd be some strange mess of me tumbling down the stairs holding up a camera trying to point it at everyone at the same time hugging everyone and shouting and uh, yeah it, it's chaos it's these two roles completely mixed and that's I think when you get the supporters point of view that I'm trying to capture in these photographs <laughs> I have a big batch of photos that are completely unsharp, everything's moving. But at the same time, you feel the energy of that particular moment. Then it's more important to feel that than to have a technically perfect picture where everything's frozen and, and crystal clear. Like you're in this moment, you're tumbling down and that's exactly what this should tell or what this uh, what this picture should be about. Same with this one. It's complete chaos everywhere around you. You're not next to the pitch and you can photograph the chaos at the other side of the fence. You're inside the, the chaos. I think it's important you have to be part of the action. In the photographs, feel that you're there and not that it's just a picture of people going crazy. It's you going crazy. It's everything going crazy. And at that moment, uh, you're pressing a shutter. Well, like this, this is completely different. Like now I'm above the situation. Well, maybe for the story it's good to have different perspectives. Uh, but as a supporter, uh, I want to be in there. <laughs>